Welcome to this exciting video about Blender 3.5. In this release, we see some incredible new features that makes it easier than ever to create stunning 3D animations and models. From a new viewport compositor to vector displacement, sculpting, and built-in hair assets, there's so much to explore in this version of Blender. Let's start with the curve-based hair system that was first introduced in Blender 3.3 but has taken a major leap in this release with the flexibility of geometry nodes. Creating and grooming fancy hairdos is easier than ever. Any kind of hair, fur, or grass is possible, but with great power comes great complexity. And that's why Blender 3.5 now includes hair assets to make your life easier. For the first time ever, Blender ships with built-in assets. The essential asset library comes with 26 hair assets split into categories, deformation, generation, guides, utility, read and write. Simply drag and drop from the assets browser onto your setups. In terms of hair manipulation, Blender 3.5 offers several new features. You can generate new hair curves on a surface mesh from scratch at point locations. And if you want to create curves that depend on existing curves, you can use the interpolate hair curves option. The duplicate hair curves nodes is a similar option with simpler behavior that may offer better performance. You can also attach hair curves to a surface mesh with options for snapping alignment and blend along curve. And if you want to clump together existing hair curves, using guide curves, you can use the clump hair curves option. Other features include the ability to curl hair curves, deform them into braids, freeze them with a random vector per point, smooth their shape, and even roll them up, starting from their tips. Another major addition in Blender 3.5 is support for vector displacement maps. VDM brushes in sculpt mode. This type of map provides an easy way to create complex shapes that can have overhangings in one brush tab. For the best results, VDM textures should be in open EXR format with color clamping disabled. With this new feature, you can take your sculpting to the next level and create intricate details that were previously impossible. Blender's 3D viewport has always been a powerful tool but with the new GPU-based compositor's backend in Blender 3.5, it takes things to the next level. Overlays are drawn on top of the compositing results, allowing you to see and interact with your mesh and other objects. You can model while compositing for sure. Please note that this is considered the first milestone of a large project, and view layer passes and some nodes are not supported yet. Further work is planned for future releases. If you are a fan of cycles, you'll be pleased to know that Blender 3.5 now includes many light sampling to more effectively sample scenes with many lights. With this feature, you can get nicer results and the light tree works best in scenes with physical correct lighting. It's important to note that you should avoid fall off or ray visibility tricks as this may interfere with heuristics used in light tree. Spotlight also now supports non-uniform object scale, matching how EV renders them. And if you have been struggling with noisy renders from disk or ellipse shape area lights, you will be pleased to know that in Blender 3.5, the result is significantly less noisy, smooth renders, no matter the shape. Now let's talk about the improvements to the pose library in Blender 3.5. With new options and shortcuts, you can speed up your workflow and achieve more complex poses. While blending a pose, you can hold Ctrl to flip the pose or press E to exaggerate and go beyond 100%. Additionally, you can drag to the left to subtract a pose, making it easier to refine your animation and achieve the desired movement. Another new feature in Blender 3.5 is the Ease Operator in the Graph Editor. This tool helps you align keys on an exponential curve, which is useful for quickly making an easing transition on multiple keys. This can save you time and effort when working on complex animations and help you achieve more natural looking movements. Blender 3.5 also includes a new natural drawing speed timing mode in the building modifier. This mode replaced strokes using the speed of the stylus when it was performed, giving it a more natural feel. This is particularly useful for artists who work with tablets and want to achieve a more organic look in their animations. Finally, Blender 3.5 is fully aligned with the VFX Reference Platform 2023, making it easier to integrate into studio pipelines. This means that Blender is now more compatible with other industry standard software and workflows and can be used more seamlessly in professional production environments. Overall, Blender 3.5 is a major release with many exciting new features and improvements, whether you're a seasoned professional or just starting 
testing out the 3D modeling and animation. There's something for everyone in this release, so why not download Blender 3.5 today and start exploring all the amazing new tools and capabilities it has to offer.